Good morning, YouTube. What is good, YouTube? What's you here with a video on the Zack Snyder Justice League? Yes, it's officially called the Zack Snyder Justice League movie, which is fantastic. Zack Snyder is going to get to see his vision, the visionary himself that started it with Man of Steel. And then we got Batman vs. Superman, etc. All because of him. Wonder Woman! He's an EP on it. It's all down to him. The Sinaidaverse is alive more than ever. So if you are new around here, guys, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100,000 subscribe mark. I will be giving away something that is so darn cool. And some of you guys have guessed exactly what it is, but it isn't exactly easy to get a hold of these items, so I speak. So if you haven't already, please check us out on Instagram at WarStew, Twitter, WarStewG, and subscribe to the channel for more content lights every single day. So as we know, the Zack Snyder Justice League additional photography, which may include reshoots. I'm getting sick and tired of being sent videos of people calling these these reshoots, these additional photography reshoots. They are not reshoots. If you're putting something new into a movie, how is it a reshoot? It's additional cinematography, additional photography. I mean, seriously. So let's get into it. So, Zack Snyder officially revealed that the Justice League Snyder Cuts have started, although it's not specific of when it started. We do know additional photography has started as he posted an image a few days ago as of the time of recording this audio. He posted an image with a cue card. You know, I don't actually know. I freestyled it. I don't actually know what it's called, but, you know, I bore to let you know that they're starting to shoot the Zack Snyder Justice League additional photography, which could include reshoots for some scenes. So, Zack Snyder went on Vero and he's caused controversy. Is Nightwing going to be in this movie? Is War Stew going to be in this movie? Is it Green Lantern? Is it? It could be literally anyone. So, there is a Vero clip of Zack Snyder. He's put on Vero. He, he uses Vero. Yes, War Stew is verified on Vero. If you want to follow me on there, it's at War Stew. Uh, I don't really use it though, to be fair, but I'm verified. So it said Zack Snyder, director, and it shows it's a cue card it, or whatever you call it, so to speak. So we know he is officially shooting the movie. We don't know how long these additional photography, the additional cinematography is going to take. It's rumored to be a one week. It's rumored to be a month, according to some creators online. So what exactly happens in this video clip? War Stew or whoever's editing the video, insert it now. So it's a clip that says warm up. Someone is jumping in the air on what looks like a trampoline. And I've had people slipping in my DM saying, War Stew, it's Green Lantern jumping into the air. It's Henry Cavill Superman jumping into the air. It's War Stew jumping into... Guys, this, I, can, can, I can concurrently confirm to you guys exactly. If this is not War Stew, War Stew would not wear that outfit. War Stew's got style, class, swag, and all that good stuff. So I don't know what it is. They're obviously warming up for some... A scene, some special effects scene, maybe some acrobats or something like that. So we don't know what it is, but I'm hearing rumors like Nightwing is going to be in this movie. Is he? What? What? So they're going to show you a Jared Leto flashback of Robin being killed and maybe Nightwing coming. Are we going to get the, the Zac Efron Nightwing that everyone wants, or at least I want because the dude's just perfect. He can even grow a really cool beard, which most guys can't do. And, and yeah, he's, he's just awesome. Just get Zac, just get Zac Efron in this movie somehow. Get him in the DCEU. So. That is an update from Zachary Snyder, and it's interesting the comments of what people think it is. Obviously, some people think it's Nightwing. Some people, as I said, Wall Stew, is this you? Uh, I, I might be signed up just for some like acting agencies and you know, and all that kind of good stuff. But no, it, it's not actually me. J just to give you a spoiler, there, it's it's breaking news. It's 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 not actually me. Okay, I know some of you guys would think it will be me, but it's not actually me. So these additional photography, it's actually much bigger than you actually think. It's actually freaking the huge. It really is because you got to see it from their point of view. You know, they had four hours of footage that they could have done. But AT&T are going all out. It's so obvious that we're getting Just League Part 2 and Part 3 after these as well. So they're basically giving him 50 million to chuck 
everything at it. So now we know that Joe Manganello could be in it. There's no official confirmation just because he's got the same hair color doesn't confirm it. I don't care who says it. I said it first though. <laughs> I don't know if I actually said it first, but, but I did say it a few days before these little websites started to pick the story up. I mean, creditation, please. Fair, fair play to in, bounding into the comics because they always do credit you, Boy Wars too. They always do. Bounding into the comic always gives me creditation. So maybe it's something to do with that on that part. And the Jared Leto part might have something to do with the death of Robin. As we know, the Batfleck TV show is going to follow something like that. But I'm thinking it's going to have to have something massive to do with the nightmare scenes. You know the scene of Barry Allen telling Batfleck, aka Ben Affleck, it's Lois, she is the key. You know, you remember that scene, it's one of the most iconic scenes ever. I think it's going to have something to do with that. Now, I can't fa fathom why Mira would be part, but in part of the timeline, I guess Mira would be, would be in control of Atlantis in this part of the timeline, I guess. Yeah, it's just going to be very interesting because we don't know if this editing is the full four-part series or are they just editing the first episode everyone keeps saying that it's going to come out really fast and the whole thing's going to come out next year but they've only told us that part one is coming out in 2021 we might have to wait six months to a year for the second part we don't know so it is interesting as you guys know i'm one of the founding fathers who supported the snyder cut i'm not one of these creators online one of these youtubers that are jumping on snyder cut videos all the time now even though they said that there's unicorns dancing around before this movie will come out and now there's just ridiculous things of people saying that nightwing and war stew okay well the war stew one's not that ridiculous but you know there's ridiculous conspiracy theories about who's going to be in it and realistically no one's actually confirmed that jared leto joker actually is in this movie probably although i'm hearing that zack snyder is absolutely annoyed about it so it is true yeah the jared leto stuff is definitely true but also something i find very annoying is we covered the ryan reynolds being in the movie for jokes you know guys and now there's like other people reporting the Ryan Reynolds story that Ryan Reynolds is going to be in the movie immediately. In the, the announcement is coming. Guys, it's not coming because Zack Snyder, my good friend, I wish he was my good friend Zack Snyder, said no compromising. He's not going to compromise, which means his cut is what he wants to release, not what A&T want him to release. So we know reshoots have started. We don't know exactly what's going on. Nightwing realistically could be in this movie. There could be a Robin flashback scene to when Joker killed him. There literally could be anything added because they have 50, well, the budget is around $70 million, but it started off with 20 and now it's jumped up to 70. And you don't know. They could make it even longer and longer. Then you've got these conspiracy theorists saying, and the Snyder Cut is not real because they're doing all these additional scenes. Guys, if you had a project that was just sitting there and a company was like, yeah, we're going to give you $70 million to finish it. Do you not think you would add new scenes to it to make it that much better? Of course you would. Of course you would. You should patronize it if you say you wouldn't. So likewise, guys, I do read the comments and I very much appreciate all the comments all the time you guys take to write down in the comment section so it is cool guys keep commenting because it helps the video grow helps the engagement it helps everything and let me know down below guys what is happening who is who is going to be green lantern is it going to be sam benjamin although that's literally confirmed i made a video about it and you guys kind of debunked it but it literally is there there's evidence there i mean literally go on sam benjamin's twitter account go back to 2017 and you will see what he says and ryan reynolds is not going to be in the movie and now you've got a scooper i'm not going to mention the person's name backtracking saying oh ryan reynolds his schedule can't meet it oh right his schedule can't meet it you want to play that game double down on the fact because it was never true the second anyone mentions Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern being in this movie, it's going to make the Sinead cut an absolute freaking joke. So like always, guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to never miss any of the videos. We do content like this all week long, talking about, you know, Superman, Henry Cavill returning, Ben Affleck, Batman, and so many different categories, not just Marvel, not just DC. We do gaming stuff about PS5, Xbox Series X, and, you know, like power, like ghosts, so many different kind of stuff, guys. So like always, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.